Alright, it's been close to two weeks since Wahoo acquired RGT Cycling, rebranded it to Wahoo RGT and bundled it under Wahoo X subscription. So naturally, many of you asked the question, how is RGT different than Zwift? So in this video, I'm going to go over what these two apps offer. I'll talk about the ride physics, workouts and erg mode controls, racing, multi-sport offering and pricing. Hopefully, this will help you understand the differences between these two indoor cycling apps. But first, if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you quickly hit that like button. It helps the channel and the video quite a bit and I really appreciate it. Okay, let's start off with free riding. Wahoo RGT has 12 different routes and gives you a lot of flexibility to select which route to ride on. You can even select where to start your ride on the selected route. So. If you want to start somewhere in the middle of the still view climb, you can use that slider to select your starting position. Also, in addition to the current route selection they have, you can create your own route. So if you have a specific route or let's say you have an event that you are training for and want to recreate and ride that route indoors, you can simply upload the GPS data and RGT will create what's called a magic road that is based on the GPS data that you uploaded. Once the route is created, you can ride it yourself or even schedule events and invite others to ride that route with you. So there's a lot of flexibility there. You'll find the graphics in the Magic Road to be basic and don't really resemble the actual route. Only the map and elevation profile are created, not the actual scenery, which is understandable given how complicated that would be. Zwift, on the other hand, currently offers over 100 routes in 10 different worlds. Some of these worlds are fictional like Watopia and some are based off of real locations such as London and France. Under each world, you will find a number of routes. Zwift created multiple routes configurations. Some of these routes are not unique. They can be different configurations of the same route or multiple route merged together to create a longer route. Zwift gives you access to three worlds at any given time. Watopia is their main world and is always available. In addition to Watopia, you'll find two guest worlds that rotate on a set schedule. Zwift always wanted to make their platform social and saw a lot of value from having you train with others, so they limited the number of worlds available and routes open at any given time to crowd people in select number of worlds. But since the pandemic, Zwift popularity soared and even with three open worlds, you'll find their routes packed and crowded with other riders, particularly in Watopia. Moving on to physics and riding dynamics. Wahoo RGT claims to have the best cycling physics of any cycling app. Basically, it's how realistic the game looks, the leaning into corners, the braking as you come into sharp turns, and the drafting effect. Zwift, on the other hand, did a lot of work on equipment selection and its effect on aerodynamics and speed. Equipment does matter in Zwift. For example, according to a number of tests performed by Zwift Insider, the difference between a setup with Zwift's carbon bike with 32 millimeter carbon wheels and a Tron bike over a one hour of riding is approximately 60 seconds. So equipment does matter in Zwift. However, Zwift riding dynamics and physics can use some work. Your avatar can make a sharp turn without slowing down a titch. Riding dynamics and group rides are getting better, but not as realistic. And that drafting effect that you enjoy when riding outside, it's not even close when riding a Zwift. Moving on to structured workouts and erg mode controls. Wahoo RGT offers a library of structured workouts that you can choose from. You can also sync training peaks and import your structured workouts of the day from there, which is usually a deal breaker for me if an app does not offer training peaks integration. So I'm glad they do that and it's a big feature if you are a coach athlete and want to be able to take advantage of the Structured Workouts Training Peaks offer. The app also supports erg mode control uh, when in workout mode and supports power match. Their erg mode player allows you to skip intervals and adjust the resistance by making it easier or harder. I found the way RGT implemented the easier and harder buttons to be a bit confusing. It doesn't show you how harder or easier you made the workout or a way to bring it back to default. Generally, apps show you how many percentage points you increase or decrease the difficulty of the workout. RGT Remote Player, which you can have open on your phone to control some aspect of the game, 
doesn't offer much to control your workout either. This brings us to Zwift Workouts. Zwift has a big library of structured workouts and workout plans that you can sign up for. Zwift also has a workout builder that allows you to build your own workouts and edit workouts within the app itself. You can also import workouts from third-party apps such as Training Peaks and Today's Plan. Zwift Eric Player is pretty advanced and honestly one of my favorite. It's pretty easy to use and everything is within a tap away when using Zwift Companion app which is Zwift's version of the remote player. For example, you can easily adjust the workout difficulty using the companion app and see by how much you increase or decrease the difficulty. You can pause the workout, you can skip an interval, you can easily toggle erg mode on and off and adjust the trainer's resistance. On the social side of things, Wahoo RGT built different ways to allow riders to ride together and socialize through group rides, group workouts, challenges, races, and different type of events. You can browse through their events, view who joined an event, and get a link to share an event with others on your social media. You can also create your own group prize, group workouts, or races and share these events so others can join your events and ride with you. Wahoo RGT even made many of these events and races accessible to people without an active subscription as a way to allow people without an active subscription to explore the app. However, riding an RGT can feel lonely sometimes and you will only be with a handful of other riders on the course. Wahoo RGT shows you how many riders riding their courses. However, a lot of these are usually bots, meaning they're not real people. Zwift on the other hand is social. That is their biggest strength. At any time during the day, you will be riding with thousands of other riders. Also, they always have events going on at any part of the day. Zwift offers group rides, group workouts, challenges, races, etc. If you want a group ride on the fly, you can choose to ride or run with a pacer which are boss riding or running at a specific pace. You can also create your own meetup and invite other Zwifters to ride or run with you or create your own club and host your own events. Some of Zwift events are so popular that you will find yourself riding with thousands of other riders. So there are a lot of different ways Zwift offers uh, to allow you to socialize while riding indoors. Moving on to racing. Within events in RGT, you can filter to view races only and sign up for a race. RGT racing is competitive, exciting, and fun mainly because the riding physics in RGT is more realistic, particularly the drafting effect and cornering speeds. Zwift racing, on the other hand, is in a whole different league. Zwift racing is extremely competitive, but with increased popularity comes increased controversy, and there is nothing more cyclists love than a good controversy. Just a couple of months ago, there was a cheating controversy that prompted Zwift to take action and made changes to their app to prevent someone from changing their weight while racing. Also, Zwift community created a number of ways to minimize cheating, such as video recording of your weigh-ins, uh, requiring heart rate monitors, power meter data transparency, etc. Zwift also got a lot of criticism for its in-game physics, particularly the drafting effect or lack of. Also, cornering speeds are not realistic. You can be going 50 miles per hour and make a sharp turn. Zwift also is big on sponsoring events. A couple of years ago, they held a virtual Tour de France. They also have a four-year partnership with a woman, uh, Pere Robey, and also the uh, women's uh, Tour de France. Zwift uses a lot of its marketing money to embed itself in real-world cycling events to bring people into its virtual platform. Wahoo sponsored a lot of pro athletes as well and pro events, so it will be interesting to see if Wahoo uses some of that marketing money and sponsorships of uh, these big events to bring people to its virtual platform like Zwift has been doing. As for multi-sport, RGT caters to cyclists and cyclists only, where Zwift also offer running. They have running specific routes, running workouts, running plans, and even a running track. They also offer group runs and running races. This is huge, particularly for multi-sport athletes, which is a large percentage of Zwift users. For me, this is a big deal because I use Zwift running a lot, whether I am running indoors on my treadmill or someone else's treadmill, I use it mostly for the structured workouts. It's just easier to do when you have the visual aid to track your intervals. So 
I don't have to think about how many 400s I did. I also like to use it just to log my runs and export them to Strava and Training Peaks. Zwift and Wahoo RGT cost $14.99 per month. You can save a little over $4 per month by purchasing the annual Wahoo X subscription, which also gives you full access to Wahoo system, which is another training platform for cyclists and caters more to multi-sport athletes and offer personalized workouts paired with video-based cycling content, pro rides, and on-location video content. On top of that, they also offer yoga, strength, and mental training, which can be integrated into their training plans which you can create and customize to help plan out your training season. So you get access to two apps for the price of one with Wahoo X subscription. Zwift is very social and offers a lot of ways to make riding indoors fun while getting a really good workout. Their gamified approach to cycling can get you hooked. Racing on Zwift can be exciting and addictive. Group workouts are always fun to do and can get you through really hard workouts. Zwift is also constantly offering different challenges that will keep you coming back to unlock the next cycling kit, route badge, going up a level, or whatever virtual prize they offer. Both apps offer a 14-day trial, and Wahoo X offers a freemium option that gives you access to limited content on RGT and system. With the increased competition, it will be interesting to see what Zwift does in the next year or so. I'm also looking forward to seeing what Wahoo does uh, to integrate the features in System and RGT. Do you think Wahoo will keep these two apps separate or integrate them into an app? Or could they go and buy more apps and bundle them all under Wahoo X? So with one subscription, you'll have access to a number of cycling apps. Hmm. I would love to know what you think. Let's chat in the comments. Okay, hope you find this video helpful. Remember to hit the like button. And if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.